Hello and welcome back to my magic world of Zine. So we're in clouds and we will be in the clouds for quite a while now because there's a lot of things to explore here and the next things on the dark side are quite a bit harder, at least from what I can tell in the clue book. So let's go back to Asp because right now I'm in Vertigo since I needed to sell all the stuff. Where to? And I, uh, I kind of went and found the portal, so it was easier for me. Uh, I didn't have to walk all the way back. But yeah, there are no enemies in that direction. So what do we have here in the town of Asp? Already saw some of the enemies. Also, what are these? Strange pedestals. Pedestal, who will touch? They are saying no. So, uh, huh. It looks like something you would want to touch at some point. Of course, this is the well and it's probably poisoned. Whoa, travel pit. Snake man! Okay, well, let's read their description then. Snake Man, 5,000 experience, 50 hit points, 15 AC, 26 speed, 1 attack for 3 to 3 points of damage, physical damage, no range attack. Snake Man are former townspeople of Asp that have been converted into monsters by the Transformer that has been set up in a remote part of town. Snake Man don't like paladins. Interesting. They're also hilariously weak for our level. <laughs> and. There's a straw bed. Interesting. Oh, there's gold. Nice. Yeah. So let's just go uh, anti clockwise, I guess. And see what we can find. We can find the morning. Uh, well, let's just revitalize, because so far we haven't run into anything that is... Uh, ...at all a threat to us, so... ...that is fine. And... you can cast Day of Sorcery, why not? Wait, that's the wrong place. Hmm, I'm also snake man, eh? Oh, a necklace. I have a few things that I still need to sell. But that's because there are not enough things to sell. Yeah, it's a silver necklace. It can sell for quite a bit. Also, I gave Scotty the gold glaive because it was actually better than his sword and shield combined. And that means he has an extra slot now for selling, so that's nice. And got a crossbow too. Ooh, a lapis crossbow. Interesting, but I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, because we have some amazing things like the Power Sharp Bow Beast Bopper. It's the energy type, so it deals energy every time you shoot. It's pretty amazing. Mm, there's another pedal slow without an orb on top. Interesting. It's cool to the touch. Whoa, that's a lot of things, wow. Garbage, but still. <laughs> Also, how do you look under a straw bed? Like, how do you differentiate between looking under it and in it? Oh, whatever. Look at that, there's sand in this place. Well, this is kind of an edge of the desert, so... Makes sense. I'll 
slip your name into the guild rolls for 500 gold. Well, it's cheap, so let's take it. Oh no, it's a snake. It's a guardian asp. Wow. Looks like they have a lot of AC. Let's find out. Guardian asp. 15,000 experience. 90 hit points. 22 AC. 35 speed. What attack for 2 to 80 points of damage. Physical damage type. No rage attack. Found only in the town of Asp, these beasts serve to discourage adventurers from looking in places they are not wanted. Guardian Asps can magically confuse the victims of their bite. Oh. Confusion, well, uh, I don't really care about that when they attack non spellcasters, I'm pretty sure. I can still quite nicely shoot them. Nothing here. Oh, what? Where did you go? Well, doesn't matter. Eh? What? What? Oh. Uh. I do have a navigator, so what gives day nine? And uh, that's weird. Not too sure what gives. No, got a whistle. Whistle of Time Distortion, that's nice. And he is poisoned. Uh, can I cure that? Yeah, I can. Cure poison. Hmm. Okay, I can go there. Go here. I can go here, but not there. Can go here, but not there. I can't go there. I can go here. Is this a maze of some sort? Whoa! Huh. Well, this looks quite interesting. Talking about that thing. <laughs> and I think I'll need to use magic here. Cast. Uh, how about. I use a fireball, I suppose. Oh, let's use shrap metal. Oh, you're confused, which does probably nothing to you. What is that? Huh. Oh. Well, that cleared dark confusion. But that doesn't explain what it is. <laughs> And how oh, about these strawberries? Nothing. A crystal pedestal. Interesting. And they are saying yes. Eh? What is going on? Hmm. 
That is weird. <laughs> well, let's explore some more, I guess. Let's go to the touch. Maybe I have to do something with those orbs in the beginning? There's a lot of these things, but I... Oh! The message appears in the stone. Alternate the colors around the well. Then the machine can no longer repel. Alternate. Interesting. The southwest corner is where to start. Begin with red to tell them apart. Southwest. Begin with red. Alternate the colors. Okay, so southwest should be red, I guess. Southwest, okay. Now let's try that. So back here. We have four orbs. This is the southwest one. It's red. And if I touch this, even though they are saying no, becomes blue, but I get jolted. Ow, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, nature's Cure. And how about protection from electricity? Okay, so that's blue, that's red. That's blue, is that it? Because that is alternating. Though I'm not... well, yeah, I guess. It doesn't matter if you're going clockwise or counterclockwise. They're alternating one way or another. Aha! Uh -huh. I found the transformer. Do you wish to destroy it? Yes. 50,000 experience. Not bad. Ah, we found the crystals of piezoelectricity. Nice. So that's what it is. And this does teleport me back. Good. Save some time. <laughs> and how about here? Oh! What a staff. Wow, a silver staff bug zapper. Right now, Spock is using a silver club, so a silver staff is a direct improvement. Awesome. Also, bug zapper. That means more damage against insects, I guess. Though, for some reason, the clue book doesn't really tell you about these extra effects. It's kind of strange. Nothing here. Nothing there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there, Snake Man. Also, Snake Man. XCOM. <laughs> so, God. Oh, Icy Maul and Dead Eater. Interesting. Not too sure if it's better than the Power Mall, because that one does energy damage. Nothing there. A sling. Silver sling. Hmm. I don't think this is good enough, unfortunately. Cure poison. Very small amounts of gold, but gold nonetheless. And broadsword. It's garbage. Oh well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we actually the Tower of Asp is also one of the smaller ones, looks like. Because we pretty much explored it. These are only side paths that are left. Asp Guild. 
Yeah, this town also doesn't seem to have anything other than a guild and a uh, mirror portal. Hmm. Hey, gold. Alright, well, we got our uh, gold that we spent for the guild back, so yay. Welcome to the guild! Let's see what we can find here. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, town portal, wow. That is pretty good. Gold stopper. Etherealize already. Dancing sword. Nice. Okay, I want to buy these. Quite a bit. Well, let me look at my spell list to see which ones I should not buy. If anything. Okay, so for sorcerer spell. Dancing sword. Something I want. Dancing sword spell creates hundreds of razor sharp blades that strip the flesh from your foes. Yeah, Crodio knows how to use that. Click 6 to 14 points of physical damage below of the caster. Yay! Enjoy! Dragon Sleep. Yeah, that's, that's not that expensive, so let's take it. Puts a dragon to sleep, much the way a sleep spell puts humans to sleep. Enjoy! Etherealize. Yes, I want that too. Move the party one square forward regardless of barriers. This may succeed in the areas where the teleport spell fails. Enjoy! Golem Stopper. Yes, I want this too. Deprives the golem of the magic that animates it, inflicting 100 points of damage. Nice. Enjoy! Yes, and incinerate. Shoots a stream of fire at one monster, inflicting 250 points of fire damage. Nice. And... Yeah, I want that too. Enjoy! Nice. Then, from... Uh... From clerics. Create food. Well, yeah, but we already have a scroll. Well, not a scroll, I think. That's an item of feasting, so let's not bother with that just yet. And then raise dead. Yeah, so on that. Enjoy! Resurrect is hilariously expensive, but that's also kind of to be expected. Uh, okay, so Stone to Flesh and Town Portal. Uh, I want Stone to Flesh, yes. Enjoy! And Town Portal. Sure. Well, it's part to the town of your choice. Enjoy! I wonder if that includes the dark side. Hmm. Resurrect. Well, I might as well pick it up. Enjoy! Then for Sarek. Having Town Portal would be useful. Race Dead would also come in handy. Hmm. Race Wrecked. It's a bit too expensive and probably won't be used for quite a while. So let's. Uh, let's first take Race Dead. Enjoy! And then. Take Town Portal. Enjoy! And take Stone Flesh. Enjoy! Okay. And I'm fine now. Right, so that was pretty good. And what else is here? Scale House! The curse is over! Thank you so much! Oh, well. Uh. I guess we completed the quest by accident. The curse is. And people here are back to being... People? <laughs> Snake Oil! <laughs> Snake Oil Salesman here. Hey, thanks! Thank you for saving us! Uh, you're welcome. Hmm. I'm wondering what they said before being turned back into humans. No, don't leave us. <laughs> But yes, let's turn in the crystals of Pai's electricity. Thank the gods. You've recovered the crystals. You are truly great adventurers. As a reward, I'll teach you the Megavolt spell. Oh, nice. 
And 75,000 experience. Still nowhere near enough to get another level, of course. Yes, we can now use Mega Volts. Which is... Uh, quite expensive. But pretty good, probably. Alright, well, since we still have time, although... We're running low on spell points. Very low on spell points. But we do have time, so let's just... Go ahead and explore some things here. Uh, looking at the map, I think there's still some things that I need to explore here. Yeah, in particular, going forward here, there's a tent. Those ogres are ruining me! For months, they've been throwing boulders at the boats that ply the waters around here. Three of my ships have gone to the bottom in as many months because the ogres like the sound of crunch and wood and screaming men. I want those ogres gone, and I'm willing to pay well for the service. Well, we cleared the ogres in the dark side, so might as well do that in the light side too. Once we actually find them. And also... Whoa! Uh... Hi? And we got ourselves the light side ogres. Well, let's see what they're all about. Over 6,000 experience, 90 hit points, 17 AC, 15 speed, 1 attack for 4 to 32 points of damage, physical damage, has a ranged attack. Tough, strong and quick, these unpleasant monsters populate the Ogre Hills. Ogres are moderately resistant to elements. Nah, not much of a challenge at this point. Oh. These guys. Oh, got a cameo. Accurate cameo, interesting. We can probably use that. Uh -huh. I am the Autumn Druid. I require the last flower of summer before I can give you the last fallen leaf of autumn. Without the last flower of summer, I cannot make summer end. Okay. So we got two out of four, I presume, druids. Oh, it's a jouster. <laughs> nice effect. Okay. So, we've seen Jousters in Isles of Terra, and they were quite fearsome. These ones, not as much looks like. 5,000 experience, 80 hit points, 20 AC, 25 speed, 1 attack for 2 to 80 points of damage. Physical damage, no range attack. Always spoiling for a fight, Jousters roam the Jouster Savannah, looking for a challenge. Jousters especially like to fight Paladins, attacking them first. Also, they have a deer shield, that's nice. And got a rod, of all things. Rod of Acid Spring, hmm. And a box. Box of Dragon Sleep, okay. Well, there are mountains here. Do I want to climb the mountains? Not particularly, no. And there is something out here. Oh, plate armor. 
amber plate armor. That's interesting. Though I don't think it really beats silver, yeah. But still, it will sell for a lot. Uh, that was another jouster, I guess? Uh, yeah. Judging from the gold amount, yes. And it's night time. And there is something here. Step right up oh. this way to the action packed, treasure filled mines of the Red Dwarf Range. This goes to Dwarf Mine 5. Okay. Not really interesting. But hey, that's where you would end up if you exit through there. There's something on the other side of the mountains, possibly, here. But... I don't see any landmarks there, so... Probably not that interesting. So, instead... Let's go south. And there is something somewhere here. These mountains somewhere. Oh, yes. There's something here. Oh, you have found an ogre lair. Destroy, yes. You break everything you can find in the lair. Battleaxe schedule, splint mail, skill armor, wand, wand. Hmm. Interesting. These are things we could enchant. Wand of insect repellent, wand of awakening. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So... Does this mean that the quest is complete? Thank ye kindly for getting rid of those ogres. Here is your reward. Forty thousand experience and a good amount of gold. And Scotty is already eligible to train, but of course we need to wait for our elves. And yeah, they need half a million still. Alright. So I think. Oh. Okay, well, the party needs rest. Might as well rest here. Cast Day of Sorcery, Day of Protection. Oh, to be fair, I don't really need Day of Protection just yet, so let's not bother with that. Oh, ogres. Basically, the uh, path here, the main road, it just goes through these mountains. Oh, and I see something here. Interesting. Um, oh. There is something there. Oh, what is that? Something that drops a shield. Oh, a gold shield. That's nice. Gold is better than steel, even. Oh. It's a barbarian. 
Okay, looks like the light side barbarians are much tougher than the dark side barbarians. Hmm. Interesting how that goes. Barbarian, 10,000 experience, 200 hit points, 15 AC, 30 speed, 2 attacks for 6 to 60 points of damage, physical damage type, no ranged attack. Barbarians are tough fighters, moderately resistant to the elements and lightly resistant to magic. Barbarians can be hard to kill. Incapable of magic, barbarians resent sorcerers and aim for them first. Oh, I see, yeah, they have a lot of hit points. And another shield. Frost shield, interesting. Looks like this is another place where we need a stone. Oh no, that's actually the war zone, okay. So we found it. It actually exists on the map. Mm, it's still not really interesting. Got a splint mail, interesting. Yeah, iron. Oh, we have steel skin armor. Actually, I'm not too sure which one of these is better. I think it's the steel one is a bit better, though. No, oh, they looks like they can't climb mountains. Oh, too bad. And it's night already because we're traveling outside, which takes a long time. No oh, lapis boots, but um, right, we have a lot better boots at this point. Thanks, Avenger. Well, I don't care about the barbarians on the other side of the world. And that. We can see desert here, and there's no question mark? That is weird. <laughs> but whatever. Let's see what this is all about. I am a peace-loving old monk, driven from my sacred home. I used to live in the Pagoda, due south from here, until the evil ninja clan drove me out. I am too old to fight, but perhaps you, being so strong and well-armed, could rid my home of these evil clansmen. I could reward you. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess this is... Ninjas, also barbarians in snow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but I guess this is a good place to stop. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Later.